This is Terry Swoop and this is Real Talk. I wanted to talk about the murder that happened in Georgia. Two black teenage boys shot and killed a 13 month old baby while they were trying to rob this woman while she was walking to the store. One of the boys shot the baby in the face while they were trying to rob this woman and they also shot the woman in the leg. 17 year old Demarcus Akins and 14 year old Dominique Lane were both charged with murder. They also arrested the boy's parents because the boy's parents tried to hide the gun after they found out their boys shot this baby. It's getting out of control nowadays. These teenage boys nowadays are getting out of control. And I've talked about this before with the way a lot of these single mothers can't raise black boys. These are another two black teen boys that were raised without a father. And when there's no father in the picture, there's no discipline. And this is why so many of these younger black boys don't have any discipline. They have no self-respect for themselves or anybody else. And this also happened in Chicago. Two black teenage boys shot and murdered Hydea Pilton. And I'm seeing a lot of these pro-black idiots that go around trying to defend this behavior. We need to stop defending this bad behavior. The only way this is going to stop, we need to instill self-responsibility into our younger people. Otherwise, they're going to think violence is the answer. They're going to think crime is the answer. Now, a lot of people will make the excuse and say it's because of poverty. Being poor is not an excuse to take somebody else's life. I grew up poor. I grew up poor in the projects. But I, robbing and killing people was never part of my agenda. We need to teach these younger people that education, self-responsibility is the only way to success. And robbing and killing is not going to do nothing but you're going to end up dead or you're going to end up in prison. Just like these boys are going to spend the rest of their life in prison. Now they're going to be charging these two boys with the death penalty. They're going to seek the death penalty in this case. I don't believe teenage teenagers should get the death penalty because they're too young to fully understand what they're doing. I think they should get some serious prison time, but I don't agree with giving a death penalty to a 17-year-old boy, somebody that's not even grown. Some people say they should get life in prison. Some people say they should get the death penalty. I don't think they should get life in prison or the death penalty. I think they should get some serious prison time, 20 years, 30 years. But to give somebody life in prison or the death penalty that's 14 years old and 17 years old, I just don't agree with that. Some people, may, some people watching this video may disagree with me and say that these boys deserve the death penalty. But I just don't agree with that. And I agree with the death penalty. I'm not one of these people that's against the death penalty. But I, th I just think when a child commits murder, when a teenager commits murder, their brains are not fully developed as an adult that commits murder. When adults commit murder, they know fully aware what they're doing. It's not about the influence of their upbringing. They know fully aware what they're doing. But you take somebody that's 14 years old, they don't understand what the hell they're doing. 
They're just going around trying to imitate these ignorant rappers and trying to imitate this thug mentality because they think this is cool. And this is the biggest problem with a lot of our younger black youth. This violence is not going to stop until we start instilling self-responsibility, start teaching these kids to respect themselves and respect other people. That's the only way this violence is going to stop. A lot of black men, we need to start being better fathers to our kids. And a lot of black women need to start making bad choices with the type of men that they're having kids with. The only way this violence is going to stop with these teenage boys, there's gonna, it's going to have to start at home. It's going to have to start with the community stepping up and being responsible for our own actions. A lot of people have different opinions on this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. To the shooting death of a 13-month-old boy gunned down in a stroller in a South Georgia town. This is a very tough story, tough story. Wolf. Police say they've arrested two teenagers in connection with the case. We'll get a live update from police in just a moment. But first, this is an emotional description of the cold-blooded killing from the baby's mother. What they did to my baby <laughs> was terrible. What those, that boy did to my baby. I thought the gun was fake. You know, I, I didn't. I didn't think the the gun was real. Can you tell me here exactly what happened? I was walking home from the the post office, and I, I thought, you know, I don't go out enough, so I should take a walk. And I was five minutes from my house, next to the blue house, out this road here. I always walk Ella Street, and a boy approached me and told me he wanted my money and I, I told him I didn't have any money, you know, and and he said, give me your money or I'm going to kill you and I'm going to shoot your baby and kill your baby and I said, I don't have any money and and don't, don't kill my baby and he tried to grab my purse and I tried to tell him I don't have any money and then he shoved me and he shot me in the ear it, it grazed my head back here and um and then, and then he shot me in the leg, and I didn't feel it. It got numb. I thought it was just a BB gun, because it was a small gun. And and then and then all of a sudden he walked over and he shot my baby right in the face. And and he, he must have died instantly because I screamed for help and, and a neighbor to call the police. And he ran off. He got scared that I screamed, and I wheeled my baby really quick to a safe place inside the gate of the blue house on Ella Street. And um, and then, you know, I took him out of the harness and I tried to perform the CPR, but <laughs> I saw his lungs inflating, but um, he was not breathing and there was no pulse. And um, by the time the EMTs got there, the police, they tried to do CPR also. And they, they, we lost it. They were very wrong and I hope that they get the maximum sentence if they're caught, if they can commit an adult crime. I mean, even the police can't even go to training without being 21 years of age. So if they can use a gun like a, an adult, then they can be charged like an adult. I, I want to see lethal injection or at least, um, you know, life in prison, you know, because, I mean, this child did nothing to him. He was innocent and helpless.